Imagine being up close and personal with a seven-ton jungle beast. Joining me now is Kathy Holsenbake, who did just that and never left the Sooner State. So, Kathy, how was it? Lisa, it was amazing. I had never been to Hugo, Oklahoma, and to tell the truth, I wasn't looking forward to the three-hour drive. But with two great traveling partners and armed with a video camera and a few questions about elephants, I embarked on a Sooner safari to the endangered Ark Animal Sanctuary and met some gentle giants. Tim Frisia has been taking care of the elephants at the Endangered Ark for six years. He knows each of their names, likes, dislikes, and personal hygiene habits. We give them a bath every day. At three, Olbert, an Asian elephant, is the only baby here. Presently, he's more interested in eating grass, examining newcomers. <laughs> no and their microphone. But Olbert will soon carry the future for the ark. If we don't start saving them now, they're not going to be around for children and people to learn what they are, what they're about. They're going to be like the, the mammoth elephants and the dinosaurs. They die off and then that's the end of them. The circus that is known as the Carson and Barnes sat down in Hugo 60 years ago. D.R. Miller, one of the founding fathers, wanted to preserve the elephants he loved so much. So he started a breeding program in 1993. Every elephant here is named after a family member, whether it's an aunt, an uncle. There are currently 14 elephants at the Ark, 12 Asians and two Africans. But they have the room to house 30. Some of the elephants who were born and raised here perform and travel with the circus. I mean, I don't think people realize how smart elephants really are. Close the gate. There are less than 50,000 Asian elephants gate. in the wild and about 15,000 in captivity. Close Poachers and human encroachment Close threaten the their survival in the wild. In captivity, getting the female pregnant takes a lot of work. On the same hour, on the same day, every week, handlers draw blood. If the female is ovulating, then they have 72 hours to get the job done. And that's all you really have is a 72-hour period twice a year. To, uh, so it's tough. The female elephant is pregnant from 18 to 22 months. During that time, handlers continue to monitor her blood, nutrition, and exercise regime. We'll walk them up and down the road. We take them out in the woods. We do that whether pregnant or not. We'll take them out in the woods, let them play in the trees and tear down some trees. and. Freesha works 15 hours a day, seven days a week, cleaning, feeding, and caring for these intelligent, sociable animals. His biggest high is helping to deliver their babies. Having them babies and delivering them is almost like having your own child, and, and you raise them like their own child and treat them that way. And My wife actually said after the first baby that I had delivered, she had told the owners that she was going to have to grow a trunk and a tail to get any attention from me. Ironically, Tim and his wife of 17 years are going to have a baby in November, their first. The next elephant baby is due in June. Mrs. Freesha says she's pleased their boy, Cooper, comes first. That way, he'll have his daddy's undivided attention for a while. So this sanctuary really is working to preserve the Asian elephant, which is an endangered species. That's right, and the United States Department of Agriculture monitors the endangered ark to make sure the elephants are treated humanely. The Endangered Ark Foundation is also in the process of building a waiting pool for the elephants there. That million dollar project will be funded by the Carson and Barnes Circus and donations from the public. Thank you, Kathy. Now, if you'd like to make a donation to the sanctuary, you can do so by visiting their website at www.endangeredarkfoundation.org or by calling 580-326-2233. You can also learn more about the Endangered Ark by checking out the August edition of Oklahoma Living.